Hey, good afternoon. I wanted to come and uh, talk about a dream I had early in the morning, yesterday morning, which would have been the November 2nd. And uh, generally when I have my dreams that appear to be from the Lord, where I've seen the fulfillment of them, it comes around that time of morning. And so I had a dream that I, will, I would continually wake up from, and then I'd go back to sleep, and I'd wake up from it. In the dream, um, I and my son were being recruited into the Army Reserves, like we're going, to, we're going to war, and we're going to this processing center to get processed and to get put into the military. And uh, I remember, like, like, what is this? What's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm too old. I'm not that old. But I was like, yeah, hey, this is not really uh, what is supposed to be going on with me. And, uh, and I remember thinking, how is this going to interrupt uh, my life? How am I going to fulfill my job as a pastor? How am I going to do this and that? Like, I need to get back. I've been on, uh, uh, my wife and I have been on town for two or three, now three Sundays and different events. And now we're back and getting uh, after the rest and getting going. And it was just w boggling my mind. And, and I would wake up and I'd be like, wait, 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 I, I didn't really sign up for the military. Like in real life, I didn't sign up for the military. And so then I would be like, all right, and I would just close my eyes and I'd go back to sleep and would have the same dream again. Eventually, my son was out of the picture and my, my wife was now in, in the process of joining the military with me, in the Army Reserve. And we were being called up because of war. We were being called up. And again, I would find like, this is getting in the way of what I'm supposed to be doing. God's calling me to first. And, uh, and I would like, and I would be in the dream and I would be waking up and, and I'll be trying to figure out, oh, wait a second. This didn't, in real life, I have not signed myself up into the army. Because once you do that, you know, once you sign that dotted line, you're pretty much theirs. You just can't say, hey, I'm not doing this. And it happened like three, it was three times. And in the dream, I would struggle and like, no, this isn't for real. And I'd wake up and I'd say, no. And I, and I would think in my clear mind, like, no, listen, you're, you're, you're in your house. You, you haven't signed up any time recently. And it was just an amazing battle. But uh, as far as battling in my mind, like, did I really do this? Am I really going to the military? How am I going to be a pastor in this little church I'm in? And uh, what's, you know, what did I do? And uh, just just battle back and forth. And so as I'm still processing all that, I don't know that that necessarily means, it could mean that, hey, Doug, don't get distracted from what your primary thing is. It could mean that, hey, look, at, we're coming into uh, greater and greater spiritual warfare. Uh, I, I do know that when I finally woke up for the, the last time to get up in the morning um, uh, to start the day, that the first thought that came in my head at this time was there's going to be great terror in America. There's going to be great fear in America, terror in America, a large amount of terror. And so I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm not going to... You look at situations in natural and you say, it seems with uh, the war going on around the world, it seems with the open borders that we've had that we are ripe for a terrorist attack. It would seem uh, with the, what the globalists want that, you know, chaos and terror are going to be coming in the next two, three, maybe four years like we have never seen before. But I wanted to put that out there for you. You guys can chew on that. I'm still chewing on it. Um, one thing we should not do is get distracted. Like where the Lord has called you, be there. Where the Lord has called you to do something, do something. Where the Lord has called you, do it with Him. Spend time with Him. Do it together with Him. Unless the Lord builds a house, the labors uh, labor in vain. And so we do that together with God. But also be aware because there could be a great time of fear, literal fear because of, of terrorist attacks in our nation in the next coming number of months. I have no idea. Uh, I didn't get anything like that in the dream, but just in the Nash, just beginning to process and like the sons of Iskar were uh, discerning of their times. And uh, that could be what we need to see as people. If something like that happens, which we don't want to happen, you be ready, be ready in season and out of season to handle the harvest of people who are who become fearful and terrified. And, um, and that's the time to reap and to love people, to reap them for the Lord Jesus Christ. Wanted to give you that word. We'll talk to you guys later. Take a risk. Touch the world. There's love, life, and power.